what do you get your dad if he lives on a narrowboat? Well, I've come along to a chandlery at Aldermaston Wharf and I'm looking for some ideas. So I thought I'd bring you along with me and we'll browse together. likes reading then there is the wonder of waterways canal celebration so this gives a bit of a history of the waterways some really nice pictures in here as well And if you're thinking about books, then there are recipes if your dad's a cook. Beanie pork sausages. And there's some nice pictures as well. So, holiday recipes, that's a good one. Canal is king. So it would appear that there are quite a few books available to do with the canals. So it takes your pick, and I'm sure there's far more than even just these few. Or how about a canal DVD? The Thames, Thames above Reading, the Tidal Thames, Kennet and Avon. Peter and I still haven't managed to do the Kennet and Avon. We were hoping that this year would be the one that we would do it. But the water levels have been so high we haven't managed. But there's always a video. And there we go, so that's another idea. Now what about this? Cork keychains. Every boat needs one of these. You can get a single one or a double one. That would make a pretty good gift. Though I have to say, if your dad's already moved onto a narrowboat, they may already come with this. A head torch might be a good idea for walking dark towpaths. And that's something that's useful for a dad who is not on a canal boat. automatic life preserver. Now every boater should have one of these. They inflate when they are surrounded by water so they don't inflate in the rain or light showers, only when you submerge. And there's the replacement canisters too. So that's a nice gift idea. And not all boaters actually have these. So that might be something to consider. Oh, that's a nice looking key ring. Kingfisher, windlass and narrowboat. sorts of key rings here. What about this? An insulated bottle. And that isn't just for boaters either. For a dad with sweet tooth. about 
model boat. That's a very detailed one. How about a ceramic tile? A bit of decor to put onto the wall. I rather like these. This is a canvas one, which I think is pretty good. Here's all the accoutrements for the boat, it's like pins and things, but if you've already moved on to an arrow boat, then you probably have all these things already. But here's something that you may not have, and that is some holders for your whittlers for when you're out and about or perhaps a sea searcher magnet for when you drop things into the canal, like, oh, I don't know, chimneys or stainless steel windlasses or anything that you drop into the canal that a magnet would pick up. Or what about this innovative idea? It's called a brolly mate and it fits onto the tiller arm. You can either have a umbrella fitted into it or you can have a clothes area so you have external drying space for your laundry. Or how about this? An unusual tiller pin in the shape of animals or birds. They come in a variety of different styles and I'll put a link to the maker of these ones. I hope you enjoyed this week's video with some gift ideas for Father's Day. Not just for narrowboating fathers, but for any fathers. I was so taken with some of those little pocket games and I picked up a couple for myself as well. So I hope you have a good Father's Day when it gets here. And I hope you enjoy my gift ideas and maybe if you have any of your own, you can add them to my list. And please post a comment about them. So until next week and next week's video, 